you know, the top 10 credit cards have given it over a million and a half dollars. And uh, let me assure you, there is no analogous contribution for no. groups that think, no. think, think, think differently than mm-hmm. the Tide Center. And conservatives just have been left out. And, and our voices, you know, sometimes they rise up, and we've seen that in the last week. But generally, it's just a dull murmur because we're spread throughout the credit system. Um, you know, we, we talk about it. We complain to one another. But for the largest ideological group in America, we're out of the public square. You know, we have to whisper even amongst ourselves about mm-hmm. things that we don't like. And this is just a way for folks who like to talk about it or folks who are just quiet but want to give back to know two things. One, uh, with COIN, you're going to get a great credit card. You're going to get 1% cash back, all the protections, Visa, all the stuff you expect from every other credit card you're at. But every time you swipe COIN, the comp- our, our company will take a piece of the merchant fee and contribute it to conservative charities. And uh, we're going to have a system where uh, folks will be able to vote and feel like, you know, hey, I actually I did something. They asked me to do something. I got my card. I used it. And then, you know, once a quarter that we're going to have four or five charities we'll put up for uh, vote. And, and I voted for a charity and they got, you know, forty, fifty thousand dollars to do good things that I really support. And, you know, next time we'll have some different charities. But, you know, our biggest thing is is, is trying to help people find that voice again and find that collective action that says, Hey, um, you know, listen to us and and also feel good that their commerce is investing in things that they believe in. 